another one bites the dust. Another Iowa receiver entering the transfer portal. I should say set to enter the transfer portal when that window opens up on Monday as Arlen Bruce the fourth has announced his departure from Iowa City. We'll get to the big news in a moment, but first I want to tell you about Ascent Nutrition and their premium coffee. It's mold and mycotoxin free. There's no pesticides. This uh, coffee is not treated with the pesticides that many of your name brand coffees are treated with. So certainly check out their products. They've got great health products all around. Visit GoAscentNutrition.com and certainly use that code Hawkeyes for 15% off your order on any of the Ascent Nutrition products. Certainly check out Uh, Lance Shuttler, former Iowa graduate Lance Shuttler's company there, Ascent Nutrition. Also, Iowa floor covering their uh, tough cork licked together 4.5 millimeter waterproof vinyl flooring being sold at $269 per foot with self-installation. Check out their website, iowafloorcovering.com slash DIY. You will be supporting an Iowa company right in the center of Iowa down in Bondurant. So the news on this Friday, it's been a newsy, newsy week. To say the least, Iowa receiver Arlen Bruce IV has announced via his Twitter that he will be entering the transfer portal. Of course, he can't do so until the official portal window opens on Monday. Now, I've been waiting for this news to drop now for a couple of days. It was confirmed to me earlier in the week. And these announcements should be left up to the student athletes. So um, I wish Arlen Bruce the fourth all the best. His dad has been uh, on this show before speaking about uh, his son's career. And look. I don't know where Arlen Bruce is going to go. I know there's rumors that he may end up at Kansas State. That I have not confirmed, but I know that's out there. Would not be shocked to see him uh, go back to uh, kind of closer to his home area down in the Kansas City area. Of course, Manhattan's a ways away. But uh, wherever he goes, he's going to be a weapon. Remember, he was real versatile in high school. Played some quarterback. Was a good defensive back. Can uh, mix certainly mix in special teams. Wasn't great returning punts this year for Iowa. But I would guess that... Uh, that's something that he feels he's capable of doing, regardless of where he ends up. And I'm not saying he's going to be the next Charlie Jones, but I do think there's quite a bit of untapped potential with Arlen Bruce the fourth. And yes, he's a result of uh, the Iowa offensive system not working, right? Um, Cade McNamara committed to Iowa last night. It's tremendously good news for Hawkeye Nation. But the fact of the matter is there are still some very big questions uh, regarding This situation regarding the coaching staff, regarding Iowa's offense in general, how much of a step forward will they take? And certainly, will the scheme stay the same? Again, if you keep Brian Ferentz on staff, if you retain him as the OC and play caller, there are some major, major question marks. And again, whether this decision was made with that in mind, I I can't tell you one way or the other. But uh, again, this is not a surprise on this Friday morning. And you see some of these announcements kind of being staggered. I don't think that's an accident. That's uh, something that's just sort of orchestrated from what I've been told. So I wish Arlen Bruce all the best. I hope he has tremendous success. The more guys that leave, though, and have success other places, like Charlie Jones, potentially now Arlen Bruce, um, that is sort of an indictment on the Iowa system. That's no news to anybody. Will Iowa be able to recover in the transfer portal? We know they're hunting for capable receivers. I can tell you that with a certainty. Uh, Tom caker has been an excellent resource. I've been able to give you some information, but certainly Tom is another one to follow on Twitter. He's uh, got some inside scoops on some of these recruits. So certainly check his stuff out on HawkeyeReport.com. But uh, they're going to be targeting guys. They are targeting guys. Cade McNamara is uh, actively recruiting others. And uh, I mentioned on the live show last night in reaction to Cade McNamara's commitment Iowa does have not only a running back, four-star running back from Stanford visiting this weekend, they've also got a wide receiver at the FCS level that's looking to jump up into the FBS level. They've got a wide receiver visiting this weekend on an unofficial visit. So they are active, folks. It helps now that you've got a quarterback, your quarterback, Cade McNamara, uh, locked in. That certainly helps the cause. It appears that Caden Proctor is still locked into his commitment. That helps. I mean, offensively in general, you just want great personnel. And Iowa is dealing with attrition at wide receiver. Uh, I'm not going to say one way or the other. Will they lose more people? Just wait and see. Just uh, That's all I can say. Just, uh, just hold on to your hats because this is a busy time of year. Don't be surprised uh, when more guys jump into the portal. Don't be surprised by it, folks. Um, this is a very busy time of year. It's unprecedented, certainly unprecedented for Iowa and Kirk Ferentz. But the reality is Iowa is hitting the portal hard. Yes, Kirk Ferentz really didn't have a choice in the matter. 
but getting Cade McNamara is a huge building block. What will they do with coaching changes? Those are all question marks. I had somebody ask earlier, uh, could Arlen Bruce return? Um, well, I was not obligated to accept an athlete back, right? An athlete goes into the portal. The school's not obligated to accept him back. Theoretically, he could come back just like any of the guys that have entered the portal. Davion Nixon entered the portal at one point and returned. But Iowa would have to accept a guy like Arlen Bruce or uh, whoever back who, who's entered the portal. And I don't believe Arlen Bruce, but I've been told he's gone. And uh, best wishes to Arlen Bruce and his family. Now, he's got a rich history. I and mean, his dad was a really good college football player uh, for uh, Minnesota and then ended up playing, having a nice career in the CFL. Um, and so um, Arlen, uh, he's got a chance to be a, a really good football player. He's a little undersized, but. There are success stories, not only at this level, but in the league. Think of Tyree Kill. I'm not saying Arlen is the next Tyree Kill or Rondell Moore, but he's got some uh, he's got some physical traits that you can't teach. So best wishes to Arlen Bruce, the fourth, and his family. Wish we could have kept him here, but uh, it is what it is. Again, keep it right here from the Hawkeye of the Storm throughout the week, folks. Throughout the week, throughout the month, it's a busy, busy time of year. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at From the Hawkeye on Twitter. You can also like the Facebook page From the Hawkeye of the Storm. And please consider donating to the channel if you're appreciative of the work that's been put into building this platform. Please consider donating. PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, and you don't have to have a PayPal account to donate through PayPal. You can donate by credit card, but click the PayPal link in the description below this video. Appreciate you tuning in, and we'll be back with you soon.